Good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. Bienvenue dans la cuisine du Ciel. Welcome in the cuisine of the Ciel. Un lieu d'animation, un lieu de dégustation, un lieu de gourmandise et un lieu de partage. And this morning, we're welcoming a chef that's coming from the United States of America. He fly all the way through for coming to the Ciel, especially for us this morning. Il nous vient des États-Unis d'Amérique. Il est venu spécialement ce matin afin de cuisiner pour vous. Je vous propose d'aller le rejoindre et je vous demande d'accueillir notre chef ce matin, Chef Charles Chen. Hi, hey. hi everybody. Welcome, bonjour. That's the only thing I know, but welcome. I'm going to share with you guys some yummy, yummy, de delicious recipes. So I can't wait to share with you guys. So today we are actually making cauliflower, so fried cauliflower. On va cuisiner des fleurs aujourd'hui. Regardez si elles sont belles. Cauliflower. Et des choux-fleurs, parce que ça aussi c'est mm -hmm. important. C'est formidable. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful, and in the States right now, this is definitely trending. Very, very popular. C'est très tendance aux États-Unis actuellement. You can make this into rice. You can make this into a pizza dough. And today we're going to show you guys how to fry this. On en fait aux États-Unis, on en fait des pâtes à pizza, on en fait une sorte de riz, on les moue, on fait toutes sortes de choses. C'est vraiment un aliment qui est extrêmement tendance. And this is what the Cial is all about. Mm -hmm. What's trendy right yes. now? So thank you for telling us what's trendy yes, in the United States. Yes, I'm going to share States. what's trending. I'm going to show you guys how to flavor this, but this is a perfect dish for as an appetizer dish. So before your entree, this is a great snack appetizer. C'est un, un beau plat pour l'apéro qu'on va préparer euh, dans quelques instants. Where are you in the United States? I am based in New York and also Los Angeles. So I go back and forth. Je suis basée à New York et Los Angeles. Je fais les allers-retours hein, constamment. So when I'm not filming a TV show for New York, I am just traveling all over the world, discovering different types of foods. Je voyage beaucoup euh, autour du monde pour découvrir hein, toutes sortes de, de sortes de nourriture quand je ne suis pas en train de faire mon émission de télé à New York. So you use the to see this. You use the camera. Yes. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. I'm Great. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So We're I'm ready. really excited to share with you guys. All of my s my recipes are super simple, and I wanted to share a story with everybody. So a story that nobody knows. They look at me now. I look very fit. I lost over 100 pounds. I don't know oh how many God. kgs that oh is. You're God. gonna tell everyone. Is it? Alors vous me regardez là. Je suis beau et svelte et grand. Voilà comme ça. <laughs> Mais j'ai perdu uh, quand même une une quarantaine de kilos, une bonne quarantaine de kilos. What happened? Uh, I was pre-diabetic when I was younger. J'étais pré-diabétique quand j'étais And I ate junk food every single day. Et je mangeais des I, toute la my journée. family moved from Taiwan to America, and I ate junk food. I just ate burgers, hamburgers. My oh diet my completely changed, oh my and God. just so much junk food. Ses parents sont partis de Taiwan, sont arrivés aux États-Unis, et effectivement, là, il s'est mis à manger du fast food, euh, enfin des trucs vraiment pas, pas très bien. What What's the change? What's the big change in your so life? So for then? me, I incorporate a lot of whole foods, whole foods. So I'm going to teach you guys using a lot of different vegetables is my forte. I don't like to sacrifice and taste. I think you should have your cake and eat it too. It should be delicious. So I'm going to show you how delicious these things can taste, but they're also really good for you. Donc je ne veux pas faire de concessions sur la euh, la gourmandise des produits, on veut des choses, on veut des saveurs, on veut des couleurs, on veut des choses très très gourmandes. Donc je travaille aussi avec des produits entiers et avec un large panel d'ingrédients. Yeah, so let's get started. So for the cauliflower, you're going to have to cut them up into little pieces like this, bite-sized pieces, because we're going to fry them. Perfect bite size. On coupe donc notre chou-fleur en, en petites pièces, en, en demi-fleurs, voilà, en portions individuelles qu'on peut croquer dedans avant de les faire frire. Yes, and now for our nice little batter, we have to create a nice batter to actually mix this and dip it into. So we're going to use some regular flour. So this is all-purpose flour. Yes. You find it at any store. And this is going to create a nice crispy batter that's really nice and crunchy. I'm all about texture. So Absolutely. when I'm eating, I like to get a different variety of different textures and everything. So adding some all-purpose flour. So on va préparer l'enrobage de, nos, de nos, notre chou-fleur avec de la farine, tout yes. à fait ordinaire. Yeah. Ordinary flour. And we're doing some um, herbes de Provence. So this Les is... Les herbes de Provence. You know that in the States. Of States. course. I, oh, I knew I was coming wonderful. to France, so I was got to use something that you guys are used to. So this is one of my favorite. It's a great way. I love using herbs because herbs are a great way to season food without Absolutely. adding too much sodium. So when we're trying to keep healthy, you want to try to, you know, be more conscious of how much sodium you're using. La santé est vraiment quelque chose de primordial pour moi. Et ce qui est bien avec les herbes, c'est qu'elles peuvent servir à l'assaisonnement sans qu'on ait à se servir de trop de sodium, trop de sel, too much salt. Yeah, right? too much salt. Yeah. So we have some 
uh, all-purpose flour. We have some seasoned herb de province. And then one little special thing that I'm going to add today, and it's a very special thing that I'm really excited about, curry powder. Of course. Curry powder is very popular because of turmeric. Turmeric is so yeah. fantastic for your skin, for also, you know, so many different anti-inflammatory benefits. On va ajouter, donc la poudre de curry, et ce qui est formidable, ce qui lui donne sa couleur d'ailleurs, c'est le curcuma. Le curcuma qui est un super aliment, qui est anti-inflammatoire, qui est bon pour la peau, qui a plein yeah. de bénéfices extraordinaires pour le corps. Yeah, what she said, yes. I mean, But because it, I know it and I just love it. I know. And I love it. It's the best thing. Also, it brings out a nice color. Absolutely. A lot of people are scared of curry, but you don't have to add too much. Just a little goes a long way. So On pas besoin d'en mettre beaucoup. Hein. Mm -hmm. So we're going to mix this up and obviously I need some salt. So we're going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to oh, pretend I'm I sure added some salt. This. Qui peut nous apporter un peu de sel Les commis, s'il vous plaît. Yes. Merci. Thank Merci. you. Merci, Sophia. Merci, Merci à All right, so a little bit of salt. Uh, our helpers, they're fantastic. Yes. They're students, you know that. They're students, and they're, they're amazing. Students. I love nurturing new talent, and Absolutely. they're so creative, and they're so talented. So very helpful. Voilà. All right, so all-purpose flour. We have some herbs de province, some curry powder, and some salt. That's all our bases for a dried rub, okay? Voilà. Oh, All it right. smells so good. Yeah, does oh, it smell wow. good? Wow. Smells, smells, smells. Oh and my then God. for our egg wash, we're going to basically use some eggs. So we're going to crack in some eggs. Okay. So regular eggs. We have no eggs right here. Do we have uh, eggs? Des oeufs. Est-ce qu'on peut avoir des oeufs? S'il vous plaît. Bonjour. Eggs. So we'll get some eggs, but I want to talk about one special ingredient in my wet ingredient. Uh, I'm uh, doing uh, seltzer water. Un ingrédient très particulier pour lui qu'il aime bien. So seltzer water, the reason why we're using seltzer water is that when you are frying this, this creates a nice fluffy batter. If you just use regular water, it's very, very dry. But if you use uh, seltzer water or soda, some people add beer, but I'm trying to keep it a little healthy today. Okay. Plus, so we're using some sparkling water. So you okay. add some sparkling water. That's interesting. Les liquides effervescents sont très, très intéressants lorsqu'on prépare euh, un enrobage euh, préalable à une friture. Donc, il y a des gens qui vont mettre du soda, il y a des gens qui vont mettre de la bière. Moi, évidemment, j'essaie de rester du côté très santé, donc je, je, je vais mettre de l'eau. Est-ce que les œufs peuvent arriver le plus rapidement possible Merci beaucoup, parce que c'est les œufs qu'on attend pour Two continuer eggs, cette please. recette. Voilà, on a besoin de deux œufs. Hop C'est parti, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So we're going to crack two eggs in here. Donc deux œufs. Just like that. Beautiful. You know what I, what I love about Paris and France and Europe is how beautiful the egg yolks are. Oh, really? They're so yellow. Look at this. In America, sometimes the... They're organic. They eggs. are organic. Yeah, they're I the love best. organic. So ce que j'adore quand je viens en France, c'est la couleur du jaune The best. The best. Always the best. It's the first time I hear that because most of the time people talk about you the Eiffel Tower. No, <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> I'm, I'm a egg chef. I'm a chef. <laughs> the first thing I do when I get off the plane is go to the farmer's market. You guys have no an way. amazing farmer's market. La première chose que je fais quand je descends de l'avion, je vais au marché. Au marché fermier, s'il y en a un, c'est yeah. le premier truc que je m'en fiche de la Tour Eiffel. So in LA, I, I love using everything that is in season. I totally believe in seasonal. Of I don't believe course. in eating out of season. I always eat what is is growing. Évidemment, on est sur une nourriture de saison, des recettes de saison, c'est ce qui est formidable. Yeah. So we're going to basically mix this and all you have to do is mix it into the egg wash yeah. and then we're going to dip it into our dried rub yes. and we fry it. So we've of been course. frying it. We're going to fry some. We're going to have you guys taste it. But now I'm going to move on to our little dressing. Voilà. Donc ce qu'on va ce qu'on va faire bon, juste pour vous expliquer, on a pris de l'avance comme ça vous pourrez déguster tout à l'heure. On les trempe dans nos œufs battus, puis dans la mixture farine, origan, curry, on les a préparés, voilà, nos commis travaillent très très fort derrière, and secret et nous on tip. avance. Ah, and the secret, secret tip, if you want it extra crispy, double dip. Oh yeah, if you, si vous voulez que ce soit encore plus croustillant, vous les trempez deux fois. That's yummy. Yeah, so if you like it nice and crunchy, I like a crunch, I know you of do. Course. So they've been double, they, they're double dipping in the back. Voilà. Donc so now en train de faire. we're going to move on to our nice, almost like a yogurt dressing. I'm making a fresh yogurt dressing. So I'll on show you guys. Sur la, la petite trompette va servir avec yeah. euh, à l'apéro. So our yogurt dressing, I'm starting with some natural yogurt. De yogurt nature, tout simple. So natural yogurt. I love the different consistencies because the fried things is very crispy, nice and nice and flavorful with the curry powder. And this one is going to give it a nice citrus and almost like a nice creaminess to it. Et ce qui est intéressant, c'est qu'on sera sur quelque chose de croustillant puisque c'est frit. Et donc là, on a quelque chose de crémeux, I'm add honey. de doux. On va ajouter du miel. Donc. A little bit of local honey. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful honey. Yeah. 
And then I am also going to add in a little bit of olive oil. Et on ajoute un peu d'huile d'olive. And then I'm going to cut Beautiful. in some fresh mint. Oh, so yes. talk about refreshing. The turmeric is going to be very, very pungent. The mint is going to bring out the brightness. And of course, you ha always have to add in some citrus, so some lemon juice to brighten things up. On va ajouter de la menthe ciselée, de la menthe fraîche qui va euh, contrebalancer le côté fragrant euh, du, du curcuma. On va également ajouter donc, du, du citron, du jus de citron fraîchement pressé. So that is one whole lemon, beautiful. super fresh. I'm all about eating fait. simple. You don't have to overdo it. When you have Simple, very quality frais. ingredients, you don't have to overdo it. Quand les ingrédients sont de qualité, y a pas besoin euh, d'en faire des tonnes. So we're gonna mix this just like so. We're gonna add in. That looks so delicious. So this is like a nice dressing. It's gonna be nice and sweet. And we're gonna add in some of that mint. So that mint is going to bring everything together. You can blend this. This would be a great yogurt sauce. If you have chicken, you can do different Absolutely. things. Yeah. It's a sauce that we can serve with many other things, with poulet. Avec so this batter, um, just letting people know, you don't have to only fry cauliflower. If you don't like cauliflower, you can fry mushrooms, you can fry chicken, you can fry different, different types of things. We can certainly take all sorts of other products, like the chou-fleur. We can take the champignons, we can take the poulet. Mm. Oh my God, mint. oh my God, it's oh, incredible. Oh, it smells so good. So we're going to cut some of this mint in, and I'm just going to dice some of this in. Voilà, donc on so va ciseler, just, ciseler mm, cette menthe. Just menthe fraîche, a menthe little bit. Qui est très, très, très belle. What's interesting about mint is that there are so many different kind of mints. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can, a lot of people think, oh, this is so weird um, to add mint into a savory dish. No, you got to play around with it. You can get it in savory dishes. You can get it in sweet dessert dishes, which we're really used to. But I want to get people to start looking at herbs. Does anyone grow herbs in here? Anyone grow herbs? Est-ce qu'il y a des gens qui, ont le, le, qui font pousser des fines herbes chez eux? Personne! No? Ah! Yes, what do you grow? Okay, what do you grow? Qu'est-ce que vous faites pousser? Mint, at least, uh, that's Mint, a basic. That's basil. Mm -hmm. La ciboulette, chives. That's the best. It's the best. It's the yep. best. Vous avez tout compris. Bravo, c'est exactement ce qu'il faut faire. Yeah. So it's, so yeah, I cool. That's beautiful. That, that looks so good. good. So it we're gonna fresh. Yes. How are you guys doing? Good? Ça va All right, so we're going to start serving. We're going to start serving some of this cauliflower, and this is our creme. Almost like a fresh dressing. I just Absolutely. top it off a little bit. C'est presque, c'est presque Smell une that. It's, it's so beautiful. And also the yogurt helps you digest the food, so it's just perfect combination. Et le, et le yaourt qui avec yeah. tous ces probiotiques qui vous aident à bien digérer. That's a very healthy cuisine. Yeah, yeah, and as you can tell, like all of my ingredients, I put it in there for a specific reason. Tous mes yes, ingrédients for flavor. sont là pour une raison spécifique, pas seulement pour la saveur. I like to change the approach of what food is about. Food is medicine. Food heals our body. So for me, food is almost like you're nourishing, you're energizing your body. So looking at every aspect of what are you putting into your food, not just for flavor, for function too. That's very North American. It is. I must say, it, it hasn't come in France yet, but it is it's coming. It's close, starting Def close. Definitely. Yep. C'est vrai que c'est uh, une, une considération qui est très nord-américaine, très états-unienne en tout cas pour le moment. Ça commence à venir en France, le fait de voir la nourriture pas seulement comme un plaisir, mais de voir les aliments comme étant autant de médicaments. On, on donne de l'énergie à notre corps, on fait rentrer des vitamines dans notre corps et en fait, on s'occupe de mm. notre santé so tout en se nourrissant. Et ça, c'est une approche vraiment qui est complètement différente. It's, it's drastically different mm -hmm. from the approach in France. It is, it is. But I think there's a lot of greatness in tradition. But it also, there's also, also something about moving forward and looking at what's new, what's trending, that's innovation. I think that's, that's why true. we're all here that's at this food here. festival yeah. to learn what's new, what's, what's different. Et and what people are doing. Definitely, c'est définitivement une tendance en tout cas dans l'alimentation de façon vraiment mondiale, hein, de voir son garde-manger, de voir son frigo euh, comme étant justement son, son placard à pharmacie. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait avec notre corps Quel carburant on met dans yeah. notre corps hein? What kind of fuel you put yeah. inside of your body And then apart from just the feeling good, it's also food is political. So Food is a way to vote for a brighter future, sustainability, Absolutely. how to take care of our mother nature, how to take care of our earth. It's not about just eating good. I have a motto. It's eat good, feel good, do good. Okay. If you don't feel good, how are you going to show up in the world? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. En fait, se nourrir est un acte au fond très politique parce qu'on choisit 
comment on se nourrit, on choisit Start ce qu'on fait, on choisit si on veut aller vers le développement durable, on choisit vraiment toute cette économie. C'est un geste véritablement politique. Yeah, so I'm going to grab one of the ready ones. Can you plate one of the ready ones? And I'm going to show them how I'm going to dress it, on and we'll move on to our next yes. dish. Yes, on va en prendre un qui est déjà prêt, qui a été cuit, voilà, qui nous est apporté. Merci beaucoup. All voilà, right. so that's the final thing. Voila, so golden crispy ground. Look how crispy this is. So oh, wow. super yummy. You're getting all those nutrients. It's super light. And that sauce, you're just going to drizzle all over. Serve it. This is a fantastic appetizer. Everyone will love this. And it's nutritious. Des petites bouchées apéritives, donc, qui ont été frites. On va mettre la sauce hein, sur le dessus. C'est sain. C'est plein de vitamines. Mm -hmm. C'est formidable. Ça prend soin de vos amis. Ça prend soin de leur santé. And you don't even have to tell people that it's good for you. Just, I always say, eat the food, and then they'll know how you feel later. Of yeah. course, yeah. yeah. So this is our dish. I, I, I'm going to have some for all of you guys ready. Il y en aura pour ready. tout le monde. Ah oui, je vois. Ah oui, ah oui. Ah là, ça se prépare. Il y en aura vraiment pour tout le monde. Yeah. Vous uh, allez pouvoir put it, profiter. Plate it first. I'll show you. Alors, so give non, me. Fait, fait, voilà, faites-le ce côté-ci. So here, Comment right here. Show us, yeah. We're going to put a little bit of this creme. So basically, just like that. We're just going to drizzle it. Regarde ici, voilà. Just like voilà, that. Voilà, comme ça. Just ça like marche. that. Mm, so pretty. You can top it off. If you like Magnifique. a little spice, add a little bit of chili pepper or cayenne pepper on there. Beautiful. Si vous voulez, there you go. rien que pour le plaisir, ajoutez un petit, un petit épice par-dessus, un petit peu de piquant. There you guys pas are. Thank you. Voilà. Pasta is ready. Give me a little bit of pasta ready on the side. Magnifique. All right, so, so what next else? things next, we are going to make one of my favorite pastas. Ah, et maintenant, c'est son plat pasta. préféré qu'on va faire. Qui aime bien les pâtes? Yeah, yes. Everyone likes pasta. All right, so we're going to start with, we're going to heat this up. We have some olive oil here. So I'm going to, on a hot pan, a little bit of olive oil. Voilà, donc dans notre poêle. It's very poêle hot. Frire, on met un petit peu d'huile d'olive. Bring it down a little voilà, bit. Formidable. And then I have some onions. Thank you, thank you. So we have some onions. Donc les oignons. Also have some bell peppers. Le poivron rouge. Do we have a, a spatula? Can someone give me a spatula? It's coming. Okay, cool. Top it off with some greens. Top it off uh, the cauliflower. cauliflower. Yeah, thank you. So another thing I would do is like just a little bit of greens for the. Yeah. What is it? What's the green thing? The green thing is green onions, scallions. Ce sont des échalotes. Voilà, yeah. Des is there a spatula verts. coming? I'm just gonna use this. Ça marche. All right. So we got some onions in here. We have some bell peppers. Thank you. Voilà, les poivrons, we're gonna les bring oignons. out some flavors. So we're doing a mushroom pasta. Ah, on va faire des pâtes aux champignons. Yeah. That's a good season for uh, mushrooms. I love mushrooms, yeah. yes. One of my favorites. It's filled with vitamin D. A lot of people don't know. Uh, good for your bones. It's plein de vitamin D. Beaucoup de gens ne le savent pas. Les champignons sont très riches en vitamine D, ce qui est excellent pour les pour les os. It's funny because every time we say like the name of, of some food, you're mm -hmm. like, you're like, you pop up, oh, this is full of calcium. Yeah. Oh, this is full of... This is what I, I love. I love food because I... When I was sick, I was overweight, 100 pounds. I was trying to figure out a way to heal myself. This is when I was aged 16. I was 100 pounds quand, heavier. Quand j avais, quand j avais no energy. Ans, All I did was sit at home, ouais. watch TV, and I realized... Couch potato. Couch potato. I, I realized I had to change my diet or Absolutely. else I can't help anyone, can't do anything in the world. So I started looking at food as my way of healing my body. Oh, wow. So I started studying the nutritional benefits of different foods, like how do I heal myself? Going back to the old ways. I think nowadays we go strictly so fast to the pharmaceuticals, too quick. Oh, I have a headache, let me take a pill. Absolutely. We don't go to the root cause. Pour revenir donc à, à, à la racine du mal, il dit j'ai vraiment fait euh, cette prise de conscience quand j'étais euh, adolescent, je m'asseyais sur le sofa, j'étais énorme, je bouffais des cochonneries et je me suis rendu compte que c'est ma nourriture qui allait me soigner. Donc il y a vraiment eu un changement de comportement tout à fait radical de ma part. And you know that's how anorexia is cured too. Really? Yeah, because you have to see food differently. Yes. The, the connection we have with the food is, is very different from 
from one uh, human being to each other. Mm -hmm. Notre relation à la nourriture est très, très différente. Certains y voient du plaisir, certains y voient un plaisir coupable ou interdit. Et c'est vrai que le, le surpoids, l'anorexie, tout cela, ça dépend de notre relation à la nourriture. So yes, eating is some, uh, something political also. It is. So we got it some mushrooms in here. I'm adding some salt. Nos champignons, du sel. And I'm also adding, I don't know what you guys call this in France, but this is like a beef stock powder um, to, du, to cook. Du fond de bœuf, mon cher. But it, it. normally we don't use powder. Oh, you don't? Okay. Well, I'm using a little because you use it for stocks. I, I know, understand. I you can make it into a stock. You yeah. can do that. But I'm going to add water later. Voilà. Donc, c'est du bouillon de bœuf déshydraté. A little that's bit. Not, that's not very healthy. Just a little bit. There's low sodium and there's organic ones. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. so there's options, yeah. Okay. Je dis, Just well, a little chef, bit. Attendez, ça c'est industriel, c'est pas bon, c'est de la cochonnerie. Dis, non, non, d'abord j'en mets qu'un peu. Et puis il y a différents niveaux de qualité, évidemment. Il y en a même du bio, donc il y a du très bon. Et de toute façon, je vais le recréer, recréer mon bouillon de bœuf. Je vais rajouter de l'eau ensuite après. All right, so we're going to let this cook down and I'm going to start on my sauce. So voilà. right here we have a blender. I have some organic cream. This is organic milk. Absolutely. Donc Add some of that in there. La crème liquide, bio, évidemment, très important. Why is it so important to eat organic, in your opinion? Um, there's a lot of pesticides, uh, there's a lot of herbicides, and also it's just for the environment, it's better. A lot of our soil is depleted, and also when you're eating all these chemicals, you know, just from environmental toxins, there's pollution everywhere from our products, from our skincare. That's why we come to these expos to find different products that are high quality, premium. But, um, you know, a lot of these toxins get built up, and that's how heart disease starts coming, cancer, Absolutely. all these mental fogginess. All the, why I eat so clean is because it makes me feel good. Et pour moi, ce qui est le plus important, en mangeant bio, en consommant bio, c'est que ça fait que je me sens bien dans mon corps, parce que je n'accumule pas voilà, toutes ces toxines qui viennent des herbicides, des pesticides, toutes ces... All right. Ça, ça, it smells good. This is my, oh my another God. favorite oh herb. Oh, my God. This is basil. basil. So basil, a really good fun fact is basil is a great stress reliever. It, it relaxes you. En fait, so l'huile essentielle de basilic est un anti-stress, vraiment, ça agit comme déstressant. Donc là, encore une fois, on cherche dans la nourriture le médicament. Yeah, so qui va, I qui am guérir, using finalement. basil to flavor this. I'm also going to add in some almonds. Do you like this? I'm adding some almonds in here. On ajoute donc des, des amandes. I don't know. I There don't you go. know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to add in some almonds. So we have some cream, almonds, and basil. Crème, the almonds is going to bring a nice crunch and also amandes. creaminess. And I'm going to also add a little bit of soy sauce. Of soy sauce, the, the, the sauce soja. Mm -hmm. wow, a little bit of soy that's sauce. That's interesting. That's Very interesting. interesting. En fait, les amandes vont rajouter de la texture. Ils vont rajouter du croquant. Vont and rajouter également du crémeux. Hein. And citrus. So we need a little bit more citrus. Et citrus is your best friend. When I'm Le cooking. Citron est votre meilleur ami. When I'm cooking. You want to hit different notes on your palate. All a very bold note. Salty, sweet, a voilà. little fatty. I think that's a good flavorful meal. So when you're cooking, you just think about, hmm, what kind of flavors do I need to add in? On cherche donc euh, plusieurs types de saveurs. On cherche l'acide, on cherche le sucré. Et c'est très important euh, d'aller chercher ça, notamment euh, à travers le citron, qui, moi, qui est l'un de mes ingrédients favoris hein, dans, dans presque toutes mes recettes. It smells so good, Chef. Does it? Oh, wow. Thank you. It so does. We have our pasta cooking. So this is the type of pasta I'm using. Use yeah. whatever pasta you have at home. I already cooked this ahead of time. Plaise, voilà. All right, so we're going to cut this in, add a little bit of more salt in here. This is going to be our base and our cream sauce. Donc, so you can see. Ça, c'est notre sauce. Hein. Sauce à la crème. Avec un citron entier. Voilà, un et demi même. Allez, on y va. You're generous. I am. I, l I love sodium. And again, going back to, if you don't have to add too much salt, just add a little bit more uh, citrus. Of course. Ah, intéressant. Ajouter plus de jus de citron vous permet d'avoir la main plus légère sur le sel. Ça compense au niveau de l'équilibre des saveurs. Donc si vous euh, voulez faire une cuisine moins salée ou si vous devez le faire pour des contraintes de santé, le jus de citron est votre meilleur allié. So we're going to blend this. Love blending. You're going to get a nice color too. So yeah. what I like about the basil is it brings out the niceness. And you see that the almonds is making it nice and thick. So we're going to go in there with a spoon. And you might need a better blender. 
Donc, ce qui est formidable, c'est que le basilic donne cette couleur hein, qui est absolument extraordinaire. Voilà, donc on a, on a le, le petit plat apéro qui vous est présenté. Magnifique. Merci à, merci à nos deux commis hein, de l'école Ferrandi qui nous donnent un coup de main tout au long de ce salon, tout au long du Cial, voilà, et qui vont vous rejoindre en vous permettant de déguster euh, la première partie de, right. de ce qui est préparé ce matin par notre chef. It's blending. You see the green, the brightness? It's very beautiful. And we're going to add the pasta in there. Oh, it's going to look so good. Wow. You see how it's emulsifying? The cream and the almonds are now yeah. coming together. How's the cauliflower? Tell me. It's good. Est-ce que ça vous plaît? Voilà, qu'est-ce que... Delicious. And you guys voilà. feel good. All right. Et en plus, ça vous fera vous sentir bien. C'est bon pour vous, c'est bon pour votre santé. Il disait tout à l'heure, c'est pas nécessaire toujours de bassiner vos amis en disant, vous savez, est-ce que je vous ai fait ce soir? C'est bon pour vous. Pas besoin de le dire, suffit de leur servir et c'est aussi leur montrer euh, eh ben, à quel point vous tenez à eux. Do you want to see if anyone has any questions, maybe? Est-ce qu'il y a encore des questions par rapport à ce qu'on fait? N'hésitez pas. Hein. Et puis tout à l'heure, vous pourrez à votre tour vous approcher pour pour voir oh, un petit peu. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. We could turn this down. Ne peut pas être au four et au moulin, enfin au blender. La, au poêlon et au blender. So I've heard while you're doing that, chef, I heard yeah. you have a, a, a project in a um, pop-up restaurant, right? Yes, so I host pop-ups all over the world. Really? Um, L.A., New York, and I am hoping to do one in Paris. If you guys want to really? come, really? let me know. Yeah. yeah. So I do five courses, seven courses. Every pop-up dinner is a different theme, and I also like to team up with charity. So I always like to give okay. back, and I bring up different oh, uh, brands, and I, I integrate different brands and experiences and live music, art, so many different wow. things. Yeah. Il adore monter des restaurants éphémères. Il en a fait un petit peu partout autour du monde, euh, à New York, un peu partout. Pourquoi pas à Paris Ça pourrait être le, le prochain projet, si ça vous parle, si ça vous interpelle. Venez le voir. Si vous ne parlez pas anglais, je vous traduis. Parce que vraiment, euh, ce, serait, euh, ce serait un projet intéressant. D'autant plus qu'il aime le faire souvent euh, pour redonner aux autres. Donc, euh, de le faire pour la bonne cause, de le faire pour, pour, la, pour la bonne action. Et en amenant parfois des musiciens, des artistes, euh, de tout genre euh, dans, dans, dans ce genre de projet. It's really an interesting approach of, of the cuisine and, yeah. and of the food and, and, and nurturing people. Yes, I think one thing that I think a lot of restaurants have lost in the United States, for example, it's all about turning tables. It's about like pe moving people out of the way. It's, yeah. it, it's forgotten about the experience. For me, it's from the moment you walk in to the design, to the element, everything is so creative. And also it keeps all the chefs that I'm working with very inspired because we get to create different menus, yeah. different themes, and go back to the art form of food. Donc le, le, le partage du repas doit être une expérience en elle-même. Dès qu'on met les pieds dans un établissement, que ce soit le décor, le concept, et c'est ce à quoi il travaille avec les différents chefs qui sont, qui sont ses partenaires. So, uh, if I understand well, you work as a consultant, right? Yes, I, I uh, work as a consultant, so I help create different consulting menus, um, different dishes, and I also do a lot of TV. I work on cookbooks, help other people with recipes, develop different things for food lines and everything, yeah. Do you feel that um, the connection we have with food, generally, worldwide, th that it is changing? Do you feel that? Yes. I feel like people are very interested and excited about food. They want to know what's new. I think there's a nice um, mixture of creating, bringing in the old, but also very excited about the new. This is very important. You know, you want to hold on to your roots, know where things come from, but then you also want to give it a new spin because Absolutely. you want to innovate. You want to stay, you know, relevant. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. C'est intéressant. C'est vraiment une tendance. Hein. La relation à la nourriture partout autour du monde, on sent qu'elle change. On a besoin de se reconnecter à nos racines et il n'y a rien de plus fondamental que, que la nourriture, évidemment, pour se faire. How do I open this? Do you, do you need any help? Because yeah. the, ma the maker of, of this is actually here. Oh, I don't know how to <laughs> open really? this. Really? Is there someone from Efed who would like to come to us for a little bit of material? Just there, Efed, we need you. Let's go. We can thank them for them, because they are one of our partners of the Cuisine by Siar. All our partners are here on the kakemono. All right, so that's on, perfect. Uh, I'm going to add in the pasta now. So I'm going to grab our pasta here. 
Et donc, on va aller, on va aller chercher les pâtes pendant que okay, quelqu'un de chez FED hein, qui vienne nous, vient nous donner un coup de main, qui vienne oh, nous... Don't worry about it. Ou pas. All right, so we have <laughs> our pasta here. On a donc nos pâtes. I'm going to heat this two up and turn, put all of our sauce in here and just start seasoning. And we're going to mix this. This is our pasta. Donc on va tout mélanger en fait dans, euh, dans, 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 le, voilà, dans le contenant. So this is our pasta we cooked earlier. We're going to just mix everything. I'm going to get the sauce. When I can get voilà, this. Donc on, va prendre la, on va prendre la sauce. Do you think I can just take this up? Yeah, just take it, right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to mix the sauce in. This is our basil cream sauce with voilà. almonds. Crème avec du basilic. It's nice and thick. It's going to hold them the consistency. Super nice color. Oh, that looks so good. It's nice and creamy. Ici, ici sur la cuisine, mademoiselle de Eiffel. Ici, ici sur la cuisine. Tout de suite. Merci. Mm, how does that look? Does that look oh, so good? Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's All beautiful. Right. So you're getting the healthy fats from the almonds. You're also getting the nice basil and mushrooms and bell peppers. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. Oh, yeah, me too. Ça, c'est magique. And, that, uh, you know, that's for a large family. Oh, no, this, I'm, I'm going to eat it all. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Ça, c'est pour une famille nombreuse. Il dit, non, 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 moi, je mange tout. You have to have no, many share. friends. Yeah, I'll share, I'll share. The best thing about food is sharing with everyone. So this is a great dish. All right, so this is a great dish for, um, you know, if you're cooking and you have friends over, super there simple. There you go, merci, Thank you. Frédéric, merci, bravo. Merci. <laughs> yes. Excellent. All right. So did anyone have any questions about the cauliflower? Avez-vous des questions they like sur ce sauce? que vous avez dégusté? Vous avez aimé la sauce ou pas? Alors faites oui de la tête si c'est oui. Qui n'a pas aimé la sauce? Vous pouvez le dire, hein? Uh, they, don't, they all like it because I'm okay. like, don't be ashamed if you don't like it. You know, <laughs> it happens, you know. Yeah. All right. So another pasta you can do is yeah. this is regular pasta, but now yeah. they are uh, very trending in the United States is brown rice pasta, quinoa Absolutely. pasta. Um, there's even um, it's coming lentil here. pasta. It's coming yep. here too. Oui, oui. C'est très, très tendance aux États-Unis de faire toutes sortes de pâtes, euh, que ce soit... Euh, euh, avec, euh, avec du sarrasin, que ce soit avec d'autres céréales, de l'épautre, euh, d'avoir toutes sortes de pâtes. Fancy pasta. Yeah, fancy yeah, pasta. That's very interesting. Expensive too, right? Yeah, I know. Often they're expensive. Souvent, c'est beaucoup plus cher. But the taste is so different. It does. Some yeah. of it tastes okay. Yeah. But yes, I agree. The taste is a little different. Yeah. I'm going to taste this, and then we're going to serve this. Alors, on va goûter d'abord. Mm. Et peut-être qu'on va servir, si c'est bon. It's nice. I like it. So it's we, good. we can actually serve it. Yes, of course. Are you sure? Yes, no, yes. No, no, because otherwise you say, oh, no, Claude, it's not good. Let's keep it for us both. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. I say, but you know, if you say that it's not good, then we keep everything and we eat everything because it's really formidable. It's formidable. It's this odor. All right. So we're going to serve this. I'm going to get a little plate. Oh, my plate. God. All of this. I'm going to add a little plate, and I love adding some edible flowers on top of the Et on va cool. ajouter, alors là, ça va être magnifique, sur, les, sur ces assiettes, on va ajouter des fleurs comestibles qui vont euh, apporter de la couleur, de la saveur. Alors, on commence à le connaître maintenant, hein, depuis une demi-heure qu'on est avec lui, qui vont nous apporter aussi des vitamines, des minéraux. Je suis sûr qu'il va nous sortir ça. And I guess some vitamins. Um, there's some vitamins in here, okay. but also just for decor. I just feel like people eat with their eyes. Of course. When I cook, I like to cook a variety of different colors, of getting course. different nutrients from different things. But flowers are just so beautiful. And if you can eat the flowers, even better. It's even better. All les right, fleurs, so c'est un régal pour les yeux. Et on commence la dégustation, bien sûr, avec les yeux. Donc, les, les fleurs comestibles, c'est encore mieux parce qu'on peut non seulement les regarder, yep. mais en plus, on peut les déguster. Donc, ça, c'est absolument formidable. Plus, it adds some freshness. Yeah, so yeah. bright. And even in salads, you can add this in salads. Dans les salades, évidemment. So Allez-y, n'hésitez pas. Yep. Voilà. Très, très That's our little dish. And voila. Voila. So good. We did <laughs> two different good. dishes. Oh, yeah. Super, super fast. Super simple. And all the ingredients are so fresh. Something that yes. you can find everywhere. Absolutely. And Donc des plats rapides, faciles, avec des ingrédients que vous pouvez trouver partout. Plus, it's healthy. Yes. That's the main thing. And I hope you guys are inspired to cook some of these dishes, try some new ingredients. Absolutely. And do things a little differently. Switch it up. 
Donc essayez des choses, lancez-vous, jouez vraiment avec la cuisine. And if you have one message this morning, what 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 do you want us to remember from this demonstration this morning? S'il y avait qu'une seule phrase oh. que vous vouliez qu'on retienne de votre passage au Ciel 2016. Um, eat with love, and it's more. It's not just about what you eat, but it's what state of mind you're on. When you're eating, so Manger when you're eating, enjoy amour. it, be in love. You're going to absorb all the nutrients more. Manger avec amour et soyez conscient de ce que vous faites. Soyez conscient de ce que de ce que vous mangez. C'est une façon de prendre soin de vous et c'est une façon de prendre soin de vos invités. Oh, that's beautiful. Can can we? Yes, actually, we're going to serve it for oh everyone. Oh my God, yes. Stand up, come over, ask your questions. Levez-vous, venez déguster, on va vous servir. Posez vos like questions this? à notre chef Just ce matin qui est venu top. spécialement yeah, we'll de New it. York pour cuisiner pour vous dans le cadre du Ciel 2016. Et si ça vous a plu, don't forget the YouTube channel of the Ciel because there's a YouTube channel. Ooh. Wow! And that you can subscribe, of course. Vous pouvez vous abonner à la chaîne YouTube. Tous les jours, vous you avez les meilleurs moments de la journée. Donc, vous allez revoir hein, les, les meilleurs moments de ce que vous avez peut-être vu euh, dans votre visite aujourd'hui. Et puis, tout au long de l'année, au cours des semaines, des mois qui vont venir, on va continuer de poster des petites vidéos avec les recettes qu'on a faites ensemble dans la cuisine. Puisque l'heure du repas arrive, j'en profite également pour souligner la vente à emporter aujourd'hui qui a été cuisinée par un très, très grand chef qui vient de Chantilly, une très belle maison, un très bel établissement. Vous pourrez déguster en vente à emporter ce qui est préparé donc, dans ce restaurant VIP. N'oubliez pas de télécharger l'appli du Cial qui vous permet notamment de suivre les différentes démonstrations de cuisine et de regarder le totem lumineux derrière vous, de revenir pour les autres démonstrations cet après-midi. Charles, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Merci. So glad. Thank you guys. Thank you very Such much. Such a pleasure. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, come up. And sure, we have plenty of pasta, so come and get some plein, food. Il y a plein, plein de pâtes. Allez, Venez manger, voilà. Maintenant, c'est la fête. It's party time. Yes. Hey. A uh, spoon, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Let me grab. Oh. Uh, yeah.